All right, guys, listen. Before I hand it over to our awesome worship team, all right, guys, before I hand it over to our awesome worship team, I just want to take two seconds, just like two quick seconds, and then I'm going to hand it over to them. They're going to pray. They're going to, they're going to separate us. But before I do that, how many know, how many have seen the news and what's happening in Charlottesville? Okay. It's literally all over the news. It's like it's everywhere. And I would be remiss if I didn't address it. Because the truth is, is the truth is this, is that as long as we're still on this earth, there's going to be some messed up things that are going to happen, right? Like, we, how many imperfect people do we have here tonight? You better raise your hand because the, the, the entire youth group will know you're lying. But listen, we live, we live, we live in a broken world. We, we just do. And so there's moments and there's times where you're going to have situations like Charlottesville happening all over the world. But I want to say this one thing, and it's this. The Bible says that the church, that, the, that, that Christians are, the, are going to be the hope of the world. The Bible says that Jesus has come to give light and to bring light inside of us. And so we are supposed to be beacons of light for the entire world. And we are supposed to be examples as to how to live life so that other people may know that, wow, there's something different about Christians in the way that they live life. And, and I'm saying all that to say this. And I want to be careful about how I say it, but one, I think we can all agree that racism exists in the world, right? Like it would be pretty crazy to say it doesn't. It's real. But just because it's real out there doesn't mean that it's got to be real in here. And when situations like that happen, right, we, we can't ignore them. The, um, I remember reading, uh, I, I like reading a lot of books. And, and one of the books that I was reading was on, on Martin Luther King. And he has a famous quote in that book. And he says, hate cannot drive out hatred. Just like darkness can't drive out darkness. What drives out darkness? Light, right? So my challenge to you, when all these dark things are happening around the world, in Charlottesville, Virginia, and, and, and shootings are happening all over the world, I challenge you to be a light when you leave this place. Be light everywhere that you go. Love, love on everyone. Love people with the love that Christ has put inside of us. And when you begin to love people that way, when you begin to do that, when you begin to, like, to, to, to meet people that perhaps act different, talk different, come from a different background, and you accept them as family even though they look different than you do or, or, or whatever the, the differences may be, I promise you something will happen. Something, something will happen. There is a light that's inside of you that only you can shine. There is a light inside of you where, in places where you and you alone go that I can't go, where Mackenzie can't go, where Emily can't go, where Brett can't go. And perhaps that's your school, perhaps that's your family. But everywhere that you go, I challenge you, challenge you, challenge you. Hear me, students. Don't think that there's nothing that you can do. Don't think that you, all you have to do is, 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 like, all you have is the ability to watch what's happening and do nothing about it. Because there is power inside of you. There is, there is an ability for you guys to create light everywhere that you go. And if we all decide to do that, if we all decide to take responsibility for what we can do, we can make a difference in the world. Amen? All right. Let's bow our heads real quick. I'm going to ask the worship team to pray. Let's bow our heads. All right. I wanted to do something a little different tonight about you guys but I've been in a fog all day it's also been foggy outside <laughs> I don't know if that's a coincidence but uh, let's just give our all to the Lord tonight so if you guys feel comfortable let's just raise our hands as high as you feel comfortable to the Lord right now Heavenly Father we just come before you Lord and we just surrender ourselves to you Lord we submit our hearts Lord we submit our minds Lord, we just surrender in this moment right now because, God, we're just believing that you're going to do something amazing in this time of worship where we just sing these few songs. But, God, we're just going to dedicate this time solely to you, Father. If there's anybody that's come into this place, Lord, and they're distracted or they had a bad day, Lord, something went wrong, Father, we pray that 
whatever it is, Lord, that every single person would just be able to lay it at your feet tonight, Lord, so that they're not distracted, Father, they're not uh, held back tonight, Father, that they would just be able to give their all to you. Father, we give our all to you tonight because that is what you are worthy of. You are worthy of everything that it is that we have because you gave everything for us. You gave your son for us. So Father, tonight, we just, right now, Lord, we just surrender to you. Father, we love you, we worship you, Jesus. We're expecting you. We're expecting you to do great and mighty things in each and every one of our lives. We don't wanna miss it, Father. We surrender to you right now. In your name we pray, amen. You guys can at this time feel free to spread out. We're just gonna begin into a time of worship. So let's just, like I said, let's just continue. Let's just give God all that we have tonight, amen? All right, let's worship.
much that we get to just come to you and just ask in your presence, God. I pray that right now you would just burn a fire inside every each and one of these people's hearts, Lord. I pray that they would burn for what you burn for, God. I pray that we would just find you in the midst of all of our daily routine, Lord. And I pray that we would just find you in the smallest of things so that we can just, we can just be in awe of your glory and just your wonder, Lord. God, I pray right now that you would just bring healing to people's minds, Lord. Bring healings to people's bodies, God. I pray that you would just mend bonds that are broken within their homes, God. And I just pray right now that you would just bring restoration and love through their lives, God. I pray that your word and your testimony would ring true through their lives, God. I pray that they would just continue to seek you, Lord. I pray that, I just pray that they would find your love and your presence. I pray that they would just have a curiosity for you, God. I pray that their curiosity would burn so bright, Father, that they would not see anything else but you, God. I pray that they would have an eye for nothing else but you, God. And I just pray right now that they would just know you, God. I just pray that you would just show yourself to them through this, Lord. Lord, we're just lifting up these people to you, God, and I just pray that you would just keep your hedge of protection around them, Lord, and that you would just help them to just burn bright for you and your kingdom, God. We're thanking you, Lord, and we're praising you right now. And Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. 